Hey guys, I'm Mark and today I'm going to show you how you can expand the background of your image using Affinity Photo. I post two tutorials like this per week, so if you like to request a tutorial, you can drop a comment down below. Alright, let's get started. I'm here inside Affinity Photo. I prepare a square artboard. It's very common format now in social media, but most of our pictures are not square. <laughs> so how can we fill those white gaps, white bars here? Let me show you the old school way first. This is kind of old method. In the past, people simply select a picture. Let's make a copy of that. So let's duplicate our image. I use a rectangular selection now so I can select the edge at the top. And then I will select a move tool that is also a transform tool and drag this up. So I just stretch this color up. So that was very common method in the past. It's worked fine on like seamless background like the sky. How about at the bottom of the picture? Let's select this area and try to stretch this down using move tool. And you can see the distortion straight away. So the result is not great. You can say it's better than having these white bars at the top and bottom, but it's not perfect. So let's try to do it a different way. I'm going to use one tool to quickly select this white area here. Now I can go to fill options, so edit fill. And very important, you need to pick in painting fill. This is content aware fill. So if you pick that, the program will analyze your image and try to pick matching colors. Unfortunately, sometimes he can duplicate something you don't want, like her hair in our case, but we can use in painting brush to quickly fix that one element that is not matching. And this way we expand the background at the very top of the picture. How about the bottom? So let me use one tool, click on this empty area to make selection. With selection in place, you can click fill and again in painting fill. It's working, it's working, just a moment. <laughs> All right, it's here. So as you can see this time, this is not stretched like before, but you can see some repetition because of the program. Try to learn what is the background and repeat some elements of it, remix some elements of existing background. So it's really good to just pick the in painting brush like I just did and remove some elements like shadow. I got three shadows for her, so I need to get rid of that. So that was the stretch and that's in painting, that's content aware. All right, let's move to our second image for today. In this case, we got vertical image and we're going to expand only on the left side. Let's use the old school method first. In, our, in this case, we don't have enough space to select the background because our subject is already at the edge of the picture. I cannot select enough to stretch this. Take a look, if I stretch only this, it will be terrible. You can see straight away that I stretch this element because our subject is so close to the edge. We cannot use this old school method. We need to use in painting for the second piece. So let's use the selection, qu quick selection by one tool, then edit, fill, in painting fill, apply. Wait a moment, you need to analyze your picture. So if you have really high resolution, you need to wait a moment to process. And here it is. Again, not perfect. So let's grab in painting brush and try to remove some key elements that will let our viewer easily recognize that this is a repeated pattern, especially here at the bottom, we got her legs. Not enough background for the program to repeat the water here. So he repeat whatever he found, in this case, her legs, we can fix that using in painting brush. Just don't select too much at the same time. If you select all at once, you will get legs again. <laughs> so line by line, line by line. All right, you can kind of click here and there to remix the water a little bit so we don't have like exactly same pattern. I did the same thing above with the clouds and the forest. So using in painting brush to supplement uh, this 
in painting fill is really good idea. All right, and this way we successfully expand the background to turn our vertical picture into square one that we can post in social media. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can subscribe to my channel for more affinity content and I will see you in the next one. Bye.